Hey anyway, everyone, a um, bit of a different video on this one. Um, this one I'm going to be talking about calibrating Samsung washing machines um, in the fact of actually putting a load in to calibrate it. And um, you're thinking, well, when you calibrate Samsung washing machines, you have to calibrate with an empty drum. But um, well, this was not exactly a case for one of the comments that I got in my review of my, obviously my Samsung. Um, what they said, um, because they were thinking about getting a Samsung machine, they've never owned one, and obviously they probably looked at my review, and um, they thought, all right, okay, like, um, thought, well, this could be a good like review to go by. Um, they said, like, worried about rinse levels. Um, because as you know, as I put in my review, that if you do kind of do less than half a load, the rinsing can be a bit poor, um, which is absolutely true. And I've had to actually add water to um, my, some of the, well, at least one jug of water, and it has been something like this. I've added to um, obviously have a little bit more water when it comes to rinsing because of obviously the poor rinse levels. So, but going. So let's say jumping forward a little bit, um, in the comment that she made, or this person made, sorry, <laughs> um, the, the Samsung Service Center, yes, that's right, the Samsung Service Center did say calibrate the machine with a load it, and did mention a blanket and, or a full load, whichever one it is. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to recalibrate in this video uh, with a load, and I am going to be doing it. With this so in this basket here is three kilograms and yes I have sadly weighed it with the bowl and the scales um, I have weighed everything in there it comes from about 3.1 kilos and what we're going to do obviously yeah I'm going to demonstrate the calibration with the loading so you can see and um, obviously if nobody has actually calibrated um, a Samsung machine before obviously a little bit of a how-to guide so kill two birds with one stone on this one so what we'll do, we'll load, calibrate, and then I'm going to show a, in another video what the cycle does when it comes to water levels, when, like when washing in, in the machine, and also rinsing levels. And also what I do want to try out as well is will the spin be restricted if I had about a couple of items of clothing? Because as you know, when it comes to um, spinning with a couple of items or two three items or even a even when I wash my bedding it can be like literally restricted at 800 so maybe it would cook up to 1400 if we like detecting with a full load because of recalibration but enough of that let's get settled let's get it loaded and let's get it recalibrated something that I would never do personally and by the way, this is a personal choice. If you do want to do this with a full load, so you can guarantee probably maybe a better wash performance or rinse performance, then put a load in it. Um, if you don't, uh, if you're not bothered, or you just kind of maybe use the same program like Daily Wash, that's pretty okay with rinsing anyway when you do a full load because obviously comfortably this drum can hold five, only five kilos anyway. So yeah, let's get it loaded in. So I know, <laughs> enough of me rambling on. So when it comes to actually calibrating, it is time delay and temperature and tap and hold until come CB comes up. When you've got CB, all you do is press start.
Also, whilst we're calibrating, don't forget to hit the like, like and subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell, and obviously you get notified of all my videos as well. Well, there we are. So it's been recalibrated with the full load. So when I've seen next video, so hopefully um, may get a better rinsing levels on this one. Because um, I'm going to do literally probably half a load and see what happens. Um, and see what the time says as well. Because maybe that will be different even if you put like a half a load in. So so yeah, um, that's it. Obviously, as I mentioned, don't forget to obviously like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time.